Okay, good morning. It is Wednesday, September 25th. We're going to make a fun fold card today. Um, and before we do that, I wanted to uh, remind you about the Chick Candy 42. Um, it's the Tiny Keepsake stamp set and the curvy Mini Curvy Keepsakes box dies. And this is just one of the projects that I've made using this bundle. Yeah. Um, all you have to do is leave a comment on that blog post, okay? Uh, if you are on my um, Facebook page, or if you were on there yesterday, you saw that Stampin' Up! announced our new trimmer. Um, it's only available on October 1st to demonstrators. So there's been lots of questions about um, can, when do customers get it. We don't know yet. It's going to depend on how many sell to the demonstrators. So October 1st is the perfect time to join because we get to get the new trimmer. Uh, I don't know anything more about will the old blades work or any of that. Uh, I do have the measurements. Um, yeah, so anyway, exciting, very exciting. Today we're making a Halloween fun fold card. We're using two stamp sets, Boo to You and The Raven. And I don't think I've used this one yet. Um, oh, sorry, I have a hair. Um, I don't think I've used this one yet on camera, so I've played with it a little bit, but I don't think I've used it. Let me give you the supplies. Now I owe my thank my uh, I owe a thank you to my downline. I had a hair appointment yesterday or last night, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, I need a fun fold card, and I don't have time to like look or investigate or find one because I was gone for the rest of the day. Um, Anyway, so thank you to the girls that, that recommended the card that we're making uh, because I was so stressed out. Yeah, okay, so measurements. Basic black, eight and a half by five and a half. Another piece of basic black that is nine and three eighths by one and a half. And then a scrap that we're gonna use with dies. We've got some Whisper White for our stampin'. Crumb cake that measures five and a quarter by four. Then we've got some crushed curry for a circle, a scallop circle, as you can see. And then I have three pieces of the Munster Bash Designer Series paper. I have two pieces that measure five and a, no, wait, two pieces that measure, yeah, five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. And then one piece that measures four by one and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to start by scoring both of these pieces. Okay, on the eight and a half inch side, I like to call that the landscape side, I'm going to score it at two and one eighth on both sides. So the one eighth is the teeny tiny or the tiny mark in between the two and two and a quarter. And then I'm gonna take the belly band and I'm gonna score it at two and a half inches on both sides. Okay, now we're done with that. I'm gonna take my bone folder Burnish those. For those of you that are just arriving, good morning. Okay, there we go. Now, this crumb cake layer here, I'm going to take the raven and the greeting, and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp him first. So let's put this over here. So he's just going to go right there. This is going to go on the inside of the card. Oh, my stamp's upside down. <laughs> and I have it on the block crooked. And I stamped it crooked. Oh, well, that's because it's on there crooked. It doesn't matter. It's going on the inside. It's Halloween. Anything goes, right? Okay, let me get that off there. Ugh. 
You can tell I haven't stamped yet today. Actually, I did stamp today, though. I made this card, but I made it over on my creating station, so. I have glue on my fingers now. There we go. Okay, we're gonna add the two panels. And I cut these so that they lined up, okay? This is how the paper was. You can see the left part of the tree is there. So here's, so it's gonna go just like that, okay? Okay, this one's going over here. This one here. Now I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of go over it. Okay, so here it is. Now we want to take the belly band. And the most important thing about the belly band is you want to make sure that you don't add it so tight that you can't slide it back off. Okay, so I'm going to add some liquid glue just to this edge here. Okay, so lay it flat. And then I'm just gonna fold it over and then just, I don't wanna make it too tight, you know what I mean? So you can see it slides easily. I do want to give that glue time to dry though without fiddling with it too much. Okay, now we're gonna take this piece of paper and add it here. So turn that over. Okay, there's that part. We're going to cut out a one and an eighth inch scallop circle using crushed curry. And then we're gonna stamp, where's my image? Here he is, Mr. Frankenstein. <laughs> How can you not laugh when you see this guy? He's so funny. Okay. I'm using such a big block because all my other blocks are occupied with stamps. I'm seriously needing to clean my office, but oh, it's not gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna use light crumb cake, light basic black, and dark pumpkin pie. And I'm just using the colors that's in here, kinda sorta. There's pumpkin here, there's black, and this is crumb cake, yeah. So I'm gonna start with the crumb cake and we're gonna color his face. He doesn't have to be green, even though, you know, usually he is, but you can make him any color you want. So I'm coloring his hands and his feet. That's a big old foot, isn't it? I'm gonna take the light basic black and I'm gonna color his hair. I mean, I say this is Frankenstein. It is Frankenstein, right? I don't know. So those of you that are looking for my Frankenstein project this year, I'm still trying to come up with it. Um, I, we still have time though, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. I've thought about it. I have a couple options I'm gonna play with, but. Okay, and now I'm gonna take the dark pumpkin pie and color his shirt. And this just ties it into that, to this color here. Okay. 
Yay. Yay. Didn't mess up. Okay, so I'm using two dies. I'm using the layering circles. No, layering ovals. That's not a circle. And then I'm using the stitched oval. Okay, so I'll get that real quick and we'll cut those out. I'm going to try to cut both of these out at the same time. If this cooperates, I will. If it doesn't, then I'll take one off. Oh, yeah, it's going to work. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to take, I think I have room on here to stamp. Um, let's see. Well, that's kind of cutting it close. I'll just take this other piece. So we want to stamp just a little creepy. And we're going to cut it out with the one inch circle punch. It barely fits, but it fits. Okay, he's going to get added just with liquid glue. Then we're gonna take two googly eyes. These are the assorted googly eyes. And every time I've used these, I've just used the white ones. There are, I mean, we could use the crushed curry one. I just don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I'll, I don't know. It's too distracting for me. I already got enough colors going on here. I'm just gonna use the white. Um, I need a glue dot. Let's see. Here they are. Oh, where's my take your pick tool? Oh, here it is over here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up. This is hard for me to pick up because it's so tiny. And I'm going to place it right on top of that glue dot. And then pick it up and place it on there and then the other one <laughs> he's too funny okay now we're going to place uh, our black stamp and dimensionals here on the card so i'm going to put one here and one here, peel that backing off. He's a little crooked, that's okay. And then this is gonna get added to the crushed curry. Start over. Okay, two, pe <laughs> two pieces of linen thread. I will untie that later and use it, but off camera. Okay, now, one side, the tails were longer than the other, so I want them to be, I want them to have the same distance. Whoops, okay. I'm making this one small because I don't want it to, um, to be too big. Yeah. That's funny. Of course that's the reason. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my bone folder and curl the ends. And I might make it smaller even more once we get the card made. So we'll see. Oh, come back here. So I'm gonna take another black dimensional, add that to the back. And then this is going to go here. And then we're going to add our little bow with a glue dot right about there. Okay, so you slide the belly band off. I know it's two completely different stamp sets, but, you know, 
it's Halloween. You can mix everything, I think. It's like you get a free pass when it's Halloween. There's no rules. Okay, so this is called the Gate Fold Card. Gate Fold Card with a belly band. Yeah. Okay, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. <laughs>